Hello, Driving Intelligence. Um, in our disposable world, uh, we find that uh, if something breaks, we think it's better to, uh, to throw that away and go buy new. Um, one of my uh, hobbies is to, uh, to rebuild or fix whatever breaks, whether it be on a boat or a car. Interestingly enough, I was uh, down at my dock and I looked at my neighbor's boat and somehow his uh, rear navigation light had been bent over and broken. You can see where this is pinched over, also in the photo. Um, this piece was stuck in there and uh, it looks pretty bad. The damage is pretty significant. Um, the wires are cut. So uh, obviously this isn't going to work. There's no way you can straighten that out. Uh, but what you can do is, uh, is fix this. Um, so the only thing you need is a tubing cutter. Um, and these are relatively cheap. And also some butt splices. And you can uh, rebuild this. And I'll show you how to do that. Rebuild this instead of going out and buying new. The other benefit of this is uh, as boats get older, um, both of my boats, one's a 68 and one's a 99, you can't find the, uh, the replacement parts, so you'd have to probably re-drill or drill new holes into the, uh, the boat. Um, so this is just an example that, uh, you know, don't just immediately throw things away. You can, uh, you can rebuild these things, fix, uh, fix them, and they'll, nobody will ever know that there was a problem with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, inspect this closely. You can see here there's damage, um, and when you have a little dent like this, um, this thing is more likely to fold back over if it ever gets impacted again. So find where you, uh, you have no damage or little damage and that's where you want to start the cut. Um, you lightly tighten up these, uh, these tubing cutters as they start to cut into the, the tubing. There we are. Okay, so open that up a little bit, the, uh, the butt splice pulls through and I've got two perfectly good wires with a very smooth cut. Okay, so the base, this plugs into the, uh, the receptacle <clears throat> and then this screws in uh, to make sure that the, the light pole doesn't come out. To get this off, there's a little Phillips head screw here. So we're going to take this off. Now we can get the the locking receptacle off. And the next thing to do is to pull out this plastic piece. Um, so the set screws out, the plastic piece can come off easily. And then uh, we'll put it back in the the the, uh, the light pole, and this will be done. Uh, of course, I gotta butt splice the wiring, but I'll uh, I'll demonstrate all that. Okay, so as I've shown, I cut this off. Uh, I've deburred the inside to make sure it protects the wires. And uh, I also um, was able to get the, uh, this plug out that uh, gets the, the electrical uh, signal from the light switch. To, uh, the first thing you got to do is put this sleeve back on. I've already put it on, but this slides on first. And then the next thing I got to do is put this uh, electrical plug inside here, um, but after I, uh, I do the butt splice. Then we can uh, drill for a set screw. Um, you may not be able to see it, but there is a set screw that holds this in place. You got to make sure that this orientation is right because if you look at the other end of this, there's a bend to make the the uh, light stick up straight because the uh, the light is installed in an angular way. So we'll show that in a second. So using a proper crimping tool, I was able to uh, butt splice, and these are heat shrink butt splices, so. Using some flame, once you see that it's closed completely around that, then you're good to go. All right, so this is all nice and tight, ready to uh, uh, push this back inside, and uh, we'll button it back up. All right, so the, this is back in. Um, all that's left to do is to put the set screw in it. I'll have to drill that, and I'll do that later, but that's easy to do. You want to be careful when you're drilling. Just make sure that the, the hole you drill is uh, appropriately sized for the screw. And then uh, I can put the, uh, the bulb and the cap back in this, and this is good to go. Abe and I would like you to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and provide comments below. See you next time on Driving Intelligence.